Welcome, my friend. Today I'm sharing seven completely different styles of elegant fall outfits, all built around one piece, a well-crafted leather handbag. I'm taking on this challenge to support a more minimalistic approach to dressing and show you how versatile the right handbag can be. We don't need dozens and dozens of handbags. Quite frankly, I don't have the space for them. And being selective about what I add to my collection is important. This is my third partnership with Teddy Blake and after almost a year of wearing their beautiful pieces, they still look as good as the day I received them and I get complimented every time. My newest addition is this croc embossed camel piece. I will share my girls reaction when they saw me open the box. It was Wow, it's so beautiful. It really does look like a piece belonging to a collection, doesn't it? I was looking for a style that was unlike what I've had before to try something new. I also wanted a crossbody, of course, to make it more wearable and bring weekend weekday versatility. Of course, the shade had to be in the browns, but I also have a lot of black, so having the combination of three colors makes it easy for me to pick a bigger variety of outfit. One detail that stood out to me is the middle handle attachment and you can see there are two openings on each side of the handle independent from each other. It's a wear design and right now the single-handed handbag is very much in a top 10 trends if you want to stay on point with current styles that is. It feels very soft to the touch and I like the croc because it gives a 3D effect. This is not just a functional piece but an accessory in the true sense of the word. It adds aesthetic value to the wear. When choosing the color combinations that you will see shortly, I first analyze closely the color shades found in the layers of the handbag. There's a big variety here from black to brown, golden, and camel shades. Lots of options to choose from. And now let's move on to the outfits. I will show you combinations with two skirts, two pants, two Two dresses and since leather is a big statement piece this fall I've decided to dust out my own pair and style it as well the first look is very easy to recreate with a simple pair of full leather leggings mine are black because as first pair it's easy to style with any black shoes super versatile as you can wear it with heels chunky boots and everything in between my black suede pumps I find elongating and sleek paired with the leggings this is a lily silk oversized shirt from earlier this summer and I find that they go so well together to contrast each other tight with loose but there's a catch there has to be a belt to cinch the material at the waist so it doesn't look like a tent I find that a simple thin belt is more than enough to draw the eyes in and then we have the croc handbag for this look I picked the black and the golden shades to draw out the match with the bag in synchrony. Continuing with the pants, this next look is a sporty one. Even though it's not my go-to, I wanted to challenge myself and put together a look that is easy to wear and put together without fuss. The shades that I played with here are mainly the earth tones. I'm wearing my navy Levi's in a straight cut. I did have them hemmed so they stop exactly at the ankle. On top, I'm wearing a v-neck wool light sweater that matches my leather moto jacket and for shoes I'm wearing the leather bow today from this season as well. This is such an understated outfit. Each piece is very well made, wool, leather and a good pair of jeans but without looking ostentatious. It's a great weekend look or when running around doing errands in style. Two words to describe this look, comfortable, sleek. Moving on to boots. I love them for fall and winter. Boots are my go-to replacements for pumps. This pair here is from Vivaya. They are made of recycled plastic. The soft look is ideal for skirts and dresses because they make the legs look slender and attractive while keeping them warm. The A-line skirt is my go-to that works for my body shape. Make sure you pull them up enough so while it parts from the abdomen, it's done at the right angle. The 
black top was a last minute choice because the skirt has black in it. I am of course re-emphasizing the same shades that are already found in the handbag. You can keep it like this or throw on a poncho if you have one. This one here I bought from Paris for about 30 euros. It did not break the bank. It's full fur, but it's so stylish and warm like a hug. It's a great accessory that always makes a statement. And let's move on to the dresses and also a little bit of color. This one here is one of my favorite styles, the skater dress. It's from Ted Baker, very well made and flattering. I paired it with my camel boots and with a camel wool coat, which are in perfect shade synchrony. This is one of my go-to combinations of shoes and coat. I highly recommend you have a set that matches well because then everything else will fall in place without having to spend time matching dresses and tops. Now, ideally you want a dress that hides nicely under the coat for when you close it to have the perfect visual effect of wearing nothing underneath that distracts from the coat. It brings out the most prominent shade from the handbag, the caramel, which so far is my favorite look to wear with the bag. I like sweater dresses, but they're pretty hard to wear. This one here is okay, but since it's a popular look, I decided to throw it in. I like how well it goes with the slouchy camel boots. And then we have the mix of materials, which brings in the leather jacket. This cropped style cuts the dress in half while not being too drastic because they are from the same color family. It's a warm and cozy look for a day at a fair, for example, a much more casual look. And now for the cozy office look, we all have slacks in our closet, right? If you want to diversify and try out a neutral pair, this one here is from Race. I had it trimmed a bit at the bottom. They are elegant and somehow I feel that they look so much better in person. I like to wear booties with pants in the same shade if possible with the pants always, always to elongate the legs. I'm also wearing a cozy buttery soft sweater which is cropped because the rise of the pants is high. Another tip when picking heavier sweaters, try a cropped version, not to show your belly, but to have it less bulky. Instead of tucking in half tuck, I don't find the tuck as polished as a full tuck, which is really hard to do with a sweater. So long story short, try cropped. <laughs> Adding more color here, going completely completely outside the realm of shades from the handbag or am I? You've seen the skirt before, it's my first time styling it in the fall, and when I look closer, I realize that the frame of the pictures in the print has the same golden and brown shade from the handbag, which of course is a no-brainer that it will match. Now here's where you want to pay attention to not overload the outfit. I already have the perfect wool sweater in the green shade found in the skirt. I also have the matching shoes, not only for the sweater, but also for the skirt. So I'm matching on the top and on the bottom to the skirt and then bringing everything together with a cropped handbag, which matches the skirt again. The skirt is really the centerpiece, like a web of colors. And you want to make sure that when you style such a complex piece, that everything else from coats to shoes to belt, if you wear one, has to be fine found in the print colors. Thank you to Teddy Blake for supporting this channel with their lovely Italian leather pieces. They are currently running promotions and I do have a discount code for you to use site-wide. I hope you got some inspiration out of these fall outfits and also to not be afraid and experiment. Try new combinations from what you already have centered around that one investment piece, which could be a pair of beautifully crafted shoes, a coat, or in our case, a croc handbag. For more styling tips, I have an entire playlist here to choose from. I'll see you there next.